some time now talking about the Cupid's bow. So that beautiful part of the lip that can actually be transformed for different yes, looks, true. depending on what you're looking for. Absolutely. Now, Dino, you so, have all different examples here. We have here. three to start with. Yeah. So we have our peaked, poised, and pretty. Mm -hmm. The most classic one. I'm going to show you how to do these. And we have plush and pouty, very Marilyn Monroe, so it makes your mouth very full and voluptuous and sexy. Sexy. And then you have the uni lip, which is actually no Cupid's bow. It's a rounder effect on top. Yes. Affected very well from Angelina Jolie, Naomi Campbell, and originated by Betty Davis. Ooh, and okay? I think Lupita has one of those. Yes. Lupita Nyong'o, yes, right? Yes, very good, yes. Yeah. yeah, I was on the internet let, trying to look for lips yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, see who had what. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do these. It's a really good time of year, too, because red's popular, burgundy's, all the deeper, darker shades. And this is a time you can spend a few more minutes and get a really stylistic lip. So we'll start with the peaked and poised. So what always is a good guideline is your nose, uh, the middle of your nostril or the philtrum. And the philtrum is that little lift. Do you mind if I just show mm -hmm. you that little lift that makes like a W over the top of the lip? Okay, And here. it usually lines up to the middle of the nostril. So you want to start by putting two dots as high as you want because you can make this spot very, very narrow or wide. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go too narrow. It should look like a nose and a lip not together. Right. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to put our dots in their spot. So those are our starting spots. And then right below it, I'm going to put right in line, two on the bottom. And we never, we can always draw over the bottom lip or over the top, but we never draw outside the natural corners of your lips. Because that's the, when things start looking goofy. Yeah, you look like the Joker for back men. Yes. Okay, because it looks good when your mouth is closed. And you know, ah! Okay, <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> then it's, you want to decide how low do you want your valley of your cupid's bow to be. Uh -huh. I don't like to go too, too deep on the first time. Yeah. Okay, and then collect your dots. So you want to go from the outside in. And it's just a fun game. Connect your bottom, mm -hmm. connect your bow. Then from this point, you just go around with your pencil, perfect it. And then you want to just fill it in. I always fill it in with the pencil as well yeah. to get a good base. And then you want to put your lipstick on top. Okay. Now we're going to come to the pouty. The pouty is a rounder peak. So what you're doing is I'm going to raise them a little higher. I'm just going to do the top peaks now. Is this when things get a little bit scary, though? Because it can be, yes, because sometimes the ladies go a little too high, and then yeah. the space between their nose and their lip is minimal, and you don't, you You're don't know. You're just like it's staring at it. You don't really get it. So what and you, you have doing, to have kind of a steady hand for this because you do. You a good it's easy one or two drinks before look. doing it is a good idea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you can see I just made them rounder yes. instead of doing a connect the dot perfect perfect line. Okay. And then for the uni, what you're doing is you're basically rounding and joining the t peaks of your cupid's bow, mm -hmm. and then coming down to the bottom, and you get that really rounded, sexy, invited look. Now, you're using the same color, even yes. though you're putting this over lip and this yes. over flesh here. Yes, using the, the it's same a very, color. you want to use the same color, and it's a really good point you bring up, Tracy, because if the pencil's too light and you see the difference between your real lip and your new lip, yeah. go darker. Oh, okay. okay. You don't want someone going, oh, I see her real lip. Yeah. It's not right. No, you know? and then they can't even focus on anything exactly. else. No. <laughs> is there anything else? Is there anyone that should stay away from any of these shapes? Like, if you have a teeny tiny little face and teeny tiny features, should you be trying to draw? This on? is what I want to say. The shapes are universal. It's the color that will make the difference. So okay. if your lips are smaller, go with lighter, shiny, bright metallic colors to make your lips look fuller. Mm -hmm. If your lips are full, and you want to make them look less full. Go with darks and matte tones. Very nice. But the shape works for any color. Okay, good stuff, Dino. Thanks. Let's go to break. More coming up.